Well, a couple on the First Coast has faced COVID-19 and they've gotten through it. And now they are talking with First Coast News' Jessica Clark. Their experience has led to changes in the way they operate a much-loved historic museum in St. Augustine. We're at the museum. Roger and Christina Smith run the Jimenez Facio House Museum in St. Augustine. Just like the house from the colonial times is a gem in the old town, so are they. They often dress up to tell other people's history. But in March, well, it came up quickly. They became part of modern day history. Christina got sick with the coronavirus. Um, my joints hurt and I had kept getting headaches and my I kept getting headaches in my eyeball, but I was having trouble breathing. Roger took her to Flagler Hospital. I dropped her off at the curb. They escorted her to a tent. And I said, I'm going to go park the car. And they said, no, you go home. We'll let we'll we'll call you. So on the drive home. Yeah, I'm, I'm you know, I'm very emotional because I'm thinking. Is that it? Is that the last time I saw I've seen her? Christina was in the hospital for three days. It was very scary and um, it was lonely. No one, not even Roger, could visit. And so this was the toughest apart time we've ever had because it was scary. <clears throat> but Christina recovered quickly and the two quarantined for 30 days at home with their dogs. And when the Jimenez Facio House Museum opens June 1st, everyone will be required to wear a face mask. And if you don't have one, you can buy one for 50 cents. This is private property. So uh, so we do have that that right to, to to ask that it's for their staff and visitor safety. Hey, listen, I've already had it and um, you don't want to go through this. It's it's uh, it's nothing to mess with. So you either wear a mask here or um, we'll see you when it's it's safe and it's safer in St. Augustine, Jessica Clark, First Coast News on your side.